say how, how, how or no, no, no this festive season? Well, before Christmas, we are running around buying gifts and snacking on unhealthy food, like a meal in the food court of the mall, and ending up hours later in the pharmacy, complaining of gas, bloating and indigestion. Sounds familiar? In the festive season, we tend to eat more high sugar and high fat foods that influences the gut negatively and allowing harmful bacteria to overgrow. These harmful bacteria can also cause you to absorb more calories than people with a healthy, balanced gut of bacteria that tends to be leaner. Most hardware medications eliminate or neutralizes the stomach acid and it gives you that quick relief. But in actual fact, your body needs stomach acid to absorb key nutrients and to digest food properly. This means that long-term use of hardware medications can lead to nutrient deficiencies. The nutrients that need stomach acid to be absorbed properly are vitamin B12, zinc, folic acid, and even calcium. With these nutrient deficiencies, the risk for fractures, anemia, and dysfunctioning of the nervous system is much higher. So, how do you get rid of hardware? If you have followed us the previous episodes on gut health, the answer to the question is very easy, and that is to consume more pre- and probiotics. Prebiotics should not be confused with probiotics. Let me explain the difference. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria found in, in supplements and food, like your sauerkraut, your kombucha and yogurt. While prebiotics are food for these beneficial bacteria in your gut and it comes from types of carbs that humans can't digest. In other words, the beneficial bacteria in your gut eat this fiber. We are at the moment standing in this beautiful kitchen of the Bushwhacker Sundowner off-road trailer, uh, which we will be utilizing to the full. Um, and we'll be making a nice little Christmas dessert for you using prebiotic uh, fruits which very nice and in season at the moment we've got some blueberries with that we'll be using an apple as well and then just to finish off later on we've got some lovely pickled ginger which we will chop up and use in our cream before you go and buy expensive prebiotic supplements remember that many foods naturally contain them like your berries your apples your garlic leeks onions and asparagus Chef Daniel, let us assemble. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, because we're camping today, uh, I've gone for the for the easier. So this is this is a, a pre-mix that you can buy in the shop, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you save on packing and, yes. and all the unnecessary stuff of bringing the baking powder and all of that with. Mm -hmm. So all of that is in this pre-mix. Um, and we'll add this just now. Um, and then we're gonna start with some oil. It's about 40 milliliters of oil. We're just going to make a nice soft little sponge karika okay. um, and into that we'll put our fruit and then we'll finish it off with some nice cream and some more fruits and really just make it nice and festive um, seeing as we're all going into the festive season so theoretically this should be a, a healthier dessert okay. if yes. we can call it that so we've got our milk in we've got our oil going to add an egg there we go we're just going to give this a quick whisk around just to, to try and incorporate all those ingredients together. And then we'll just add into this our mix that's got everything in. And now the secret is not to over mix this, otherwise it's gonna become bready and not cakey. Yeah. So we're just bringing it together. And that's it. Very easy. Okay. Then if you yeah. can hand me those, thank you. <laughs> so to prevent these from sticking, um, sometimes we forget the the good old-fashioned spraying cook but we always have some oil on hand so we can just put this inside that will make our little sponge come out very easily so we're going to do two of these just a little bit of oil in there there we go uh Karika, may i ask you yes. just to hold these down for me please sure. so we put our mix straight into our little tins here there we go. A cool. little bit on this side. Right. Fantastic. And then we get our blueberries. We can jot a couple in. Some of them we can press down just to get the bottom. 
bottom covered, some we leave at the top, they can float around. All right, and then we're going to do a couple of slices of apple quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. and the berries and the apple both are prebiotic foods. And your berries are also your superfoods. With very, all the very delicious ingredients. Stick them in the freezer, give them to the kids. Nice little snack on a hot day. Better than the yes. ice cream. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Some of the apples, mm -hmm. once again, we squish them in. Some of them we leave at the top. You get the different textures at different levels in your sponge. Mm -hmm. All right, now these will go into our oven or in your Weber, whatever you have available on your beautiful campsite. And then you can go off and have a nice glass of wine in your bushwhacker while you wait for these bad boys to bake. Fantastic, looks delicious. Ready? <laughs> so while we're waiting for mm -hmm. our sponges to bake, Karika, okay. let's get the cream going. It's going to fill our, our sponges and on yeah. top as well. So it, it takes a while outside, but uh, as you can see at the moment, it's sticking nicely. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, it shouldn't fall out. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> if, I don't, I don't know, know if I should, should go that far. <laughs> um, so yeah, now to give it some flavor, we're going to add our pickled ginger. Then we just chopped it nicely. Okay. Um, there's still a little bit of, of bite to it. You don't want it too fine. You still want to taste it. And then we've got the pickling liquid as well. So I'll add a bit of this okay. in, just to give That's that good. beautiful prebiotic flavor. Yes. Yes. Anti-inflammatory. All of those well. goodness, <laughs> and then just obviously just to sweeten it up a little bit, we're gonna add a splash of sugar. Okay, that's not too much. No, 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 no. If if possible, please let's use honey. Um, mm. We need to stay away from the sugars as yes. much as possible. But it is Christmas; it is the season to be jolly. So let's be mm -hmm. jolly, and uh, yeah, let's check our sponges quickly. Okay, how long does it take to, um, to bake the sponges? Uh, depending on your oven, let's say you're baking at 180 degrees, I would say no longer than 10 to 15 minutes, uh, give or take. Okay, in the Weber, same time? Weber might take a little bit longer, okay. once again it depends on the heat, so have a coffee, check them, maybe in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and uh, yeah, don't, don't make it uh, too hot inside there, rather right. longer and slower. Fantastic, okay. So we've got our lovely Ooh, sponges nice. here, Karika, nice and warm. Sure. We'll just put okay. them down. So now we're going to assemble our, our little sponge cake here. So we're going to take a little bit of our cream. Just put that down on the bottom. That will just prevent it from sliding around. Okay. We want to create a nice platform. Okay. So the first one is down. Then we come with a little bit of cream on there. on top and then we'll add our berries once again we got the cooked berries inside we got some fresh berries here don't mind Delicious. if they fall off that's our garnishing then we're going to come with the apple as well it's a campsite dessert it's rustic it's for everyone so don't worry too much don't fuss too much oh beautiful there we go now it's starting to look like a cake <laughs> Let's see this way, much better. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a messy eat, but it's going to be a good one. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more berries on top, maybe just to finish it off. There we go. A couple of nice apple pieces. Okay. And then... Our lovely little rustic uh, cake with all the prebiotic uh, fruits in uh, made right here on site in this beautiful location in our beautiful bushwhacker trailer um, and yeah let's have a toast yes. to the season yes from the tableway team we just want to wish you a blessed festive season and remember to do it the tableway where stories are told and meals are shared cheers cheers Karika.